times, in a fertile, tropical land of Malaysia, once lived a poor widow named Mahmina with her two children, Malur and Pakan. Mahmina was a loving mother who worked hard every day to support her family. One morning, she went fishing at the nearby river and guess what? She caught a big tambaco fish full of fish roe. Oh, what a jolly good day for Mahmina! She returned home and asked Malur to cook the fish and save some fish roe for her. Before Mahmina left the house to go to the forest to find some wood, she told her children that if she came home late, they didn't have to wait for her and may eat first. While in the forest, Mahmina spent the entire day imagining how delicious the fish roe was. However, when she arrived at home, dear heavens, wasn't she surprised? She found out all the fish and its row were gone. Someone ate it all. Seeing her very upset mother, Malur explained that she had saved some of the egg for her, but Bekan wanted more. Bekan was crying so loud while rolling around on the floor. Boy, can you imagine how messy that was? He ignored his sister's warnings and ate the fish row anyway. Malur felt so guilty and asked for her mother's forgiveness, but it was too late. They failed to keep their promise. Their mother's heart was already broken to pieces. Mahmina felt that her children no longer loved her. And you know what happened next? Mahmina stormed out of the house and ran into the forest. Malur and Pakan rushed after her and begged their mother to return. From afar, they heard their mother scream, The devouring rock! My children no longer love me! I sacrifice myself to you! She ran towards the devouring rock, and then she stood at the mouth of the boulder. Suddenly, the boulder made a loud, rumbling sound and swallowed the woman. By the time Melur and Bakan arrived, they found only strands of their mother's hair on the rock's surface. Oh, what poor little souls! They were so young, and they had to bear the pain of living their lives without their mother.